Today we're going to talk about how to do two things in a Google Sheets spreadsheet. We're going to talk about how to resize cells, and we're going to talk about how to merge cells. So starting off with resizing cells, um, by default in Google Sheets, the cells are pretty small. So if you have a particularly long piece of text, a big number, um, something that doesn't fit in that small space, you might want to make your cell either wider or taller so that that information can fit the way that you want it to. Right now I have a spreadsheet started and I have a few columns where the information that I have right now doesn't quite fit. Um, for example, some of my division titles here are being cut off because the cells are not big enough and some of my city names are spilling over into the next cell because right now they're too long for the space that I have. Now there are two ways that we can resize a cell uh, or resize a column. So if I go up to the top, let's start with column A here with these division titles that don't fit. If I select column A and I go up to the very top um, and mouse over that line in between column A and column B in the column heading row, you'll see that my mouse pointer changed from a regular mouse pointer to a double-sided arrow. If I then click, hold, and drag that bar, I can make this column bigger or smaller depending on my needs. So I can make column A a little bit wider so that those headings fit. I could do the same thing for my other division titles in column E, um, either by clicking and dragging that bar just like I did with column A, or if I want the spreadsheet to automatically resize this column so that the biggest, even the biggest piece of information fits. I can just double click on that bar and it will automatically resize to the biggest uh, piece of information I have in this column, which right now is Western Conference and I don't quite want the column that wide, so I'm going to shrink it back down a little bit. But that looks a lot better so far. I'm going to do the same thing with my cities here. So in column B, I'm going to double click that line between B and C to resize column B, and then I'm going to double click that line in between F and G to resize column F. So now all my cities and division titles fit nicely in their cells. Um, but the other thing that's not quite appearing the way I want it to right now are these headings up at the top, Eastern Conference, Western Conference, and NBA Teams. Um, these are headings that I would like centered over several columns. So just resizing a column and making it bigger or smaller isn't going to do what I want it to do. Um, so let me show you what merging cells looks like. Uh, I'm going to start by clicking on A2 where I have the text Eastern Conference entered. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag to select the three cells next to A2. So I have A2, B2, C2, and D2 selected. And then I'm going to go up to the menu bar up here and I'm going to click on the icon that looks like two boxes being squished together. If you mouse over it, it should say Merge Cells. And what that will do is it will take those four cells that I highlighted and we'll turn it into one cell. So now whatever I type um, into A2 will be spread out over those four boxes. Whatever formatting is applied is applied to the, that whole space. I can center my title across that space. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here with Western Conference. So now those titles are nicely centered. Um, and I can do the same thing here with the NBA teams. I can merge all the cells across the top of my spreadsheet and center that title nicely there. So just to recap, resizing and merging cells is a great way to fit more content into an individual cell and apply some more advanced formatting in your Google spreadsheet.